the impact of obesity, insulin resistance, and so forth on brain health. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. I will just mention that a study was done with 2,000 people and they found those that had a BMI of over 30, that's body mass index, and 30 is considered obesity. Those that had a BMI over 30 had a three and a half times greater chance of developing Alzheimer's and dementia if they were in that state in middle age compared to normal weight people in middle age. A three and a half times greater chance of doing that. Brains of obese people are literally smaller in size than brains of normal weight people. And a study done at Kaiser Permanente looked at 6,500 people. That's a pretty good sized study. And they found that those with the largest waist size, their belly, their waist size, had a three times greater risk of developing dementia as they got older. So it's not just being overweight, it's also where you carry your weight. And I'm not a big fan of BMI because there's some problems with that, but I am a big fan of the tape measure. And so if you have gut fat, and this is something men usually have more than women, gut fat, belly fat is metabolically very active tissue. It's in and out of the blood system all the time. It raises triglyceride levels. It raises your cancer risk of certain cancers. It does all kinds of things. And we want to minimize your waist size if we can. So if you're taking notes, I'll give you the goals for what you want for your tape measure to read. For men, we want it to be below 37 inches that's 94 centimeters for those of you around the world and for women below 31 inches for women and below 80 centimeters it's the same thing for women for waist size and when you can keep your waist size below those numbers you dramatically decrease your risk of all kinds of problems in the future the least of which is not brain health that's very important as well this brings up an important point though because most people don't know where to measure their waist size and it's not at the belly button level if you press right now just sitting or standing where you are on your abdomen you will find two bones sticking out right about here it's called the iliac crest at the top of your pelvis and that is where you officially measure waist size parallel to the floor and that's where we want to see if you can come in under 37 inches as a man or under 31 inches as a woman and if you can do that you have maximized what you can do as far as weight is concerned in maintaining healthy brain health. And the evidence is, has been replicated elsewhere. You can see here we have a little image from an article posted on the Aging Research Review article from 2015 in the US. And they used a really clever name for the article. It says, does the brain shrink as the waist expands? And the short answer is yes. Just like you said, when we talk about prefrontal and frontal cortex atrophy, that means the brain gets smaller and the functions get decreased. Prefrontal, we said, is the part of the brain that it's in charge of movement, uncoordinated movement through the brain, to the limbs, arms, legs, and all of that. And the frontal cortex is in charge of your behavior. How do you respond to uh, external stimuli? So if you have lots of fat on your belly, that is going to mess up with a lot of process, including your brain. 